first step is to print out the wear criteria sheet from eCare for the machine you're about to inspect. The wear criteria sheet provides measurement parameters for each part of the undercarriage you will inspect. You'll need to refer to these criteria after each measurement to get an understanding of what stage the machine you're inspecting is at. Before any work takes place on site, please complete your Take 5 risk assessment and ensure isolation and personal danger tags are fitted to the machine. Make sure the machine you are inspecting is switched off, stable, in a safe area and that all safety procedures have been carried out. First step, if it's required, is to clean the undercarriage. Once it's clean, it's time to turn on the ultrasonic tool. Start by pressing the ON key and then the FILE key. Using the arrow keys, highlight CREATE, then press ENTER. At TEMPLATE, press ENTER for Komatsu. At MODEL, enter in the model of the machine using the arrow keys up and down for alpha and numeric, then arrow right for next character. Once the model has been selected, press ENTER. At serial number, use the arrow keys and enter the machine's serial number, then press ENTER. At SVC meter, use the arrow keys to enter the current machine service meter reading, or SMR. This is an hourly figure, then press ENTER. At inspection date, use the arrow keys to enter the date, then press ENTER. At track type, use the arrow keys to select the type of track, sealed or lubricated, then press ENTER. You are now ready to start your undercarriage inspection. For the first measurement, begin at the left-hand side of the machine, the left side being from the cab facing forward. Start with the left-hand link pitch. A flashing hand symbol on the top right of screen indicates this is a manual measurement. To get a correct reading, the track needs to be tight. Use a tape measure to measure the link across five pins, or four links. This measurement is taken from the centre of the pin to the centre of the fifth pin. Check this measurement at different points around the chain. Enter this measurement by pressing ENTER, then use the arrow keys to enter your reading. The link pitch master is next and requires a measurement of the distance across the master joint. Press ENTER, then using the arrow keys, enter in your reading. Check this number against your wear criteria sheet. The probe symbol on the top right of screen indicates an ultrasonic measurement. Insert the probe cable into the top of the ultrasonic tool and apply gel to the probe. Place the probe at the base of the bush and check the reading on the screen. Also, check the forward and reverse drive side wear of the bush. A good reading is indicated by the illumination of the green LED on the tool. Check a few random bushes for consistency. Once you've found the lowest reading, press Enter. Also, check to see if the bushes have been turned. Hold the probe against the bottom of the link at the bush end and take the reading. Again, check a few links for consistency before pressing enter. And finally, check the reading against your wear criteria sheet. Hold the probe against the top of the grouser, making sure that it's away from the ends and that the grouser hasn't been re-lugged. Once you have a reading, press enter. Hold the probe on the tread surface of the idler wheel. Once you have a reading, press enter and check against the wear criteria. Ignore this measurement, use the arrow right to proceed to the next component. Hold the probe against the tread area on the number one carrier roller. This is the first roller from the front of the machine. 
Ensure that you are far away from the end cap bolts and measure the end furthest from the pedestal. Then press enter. For additional carrier rollers, simply repeat the process. Hold the probe on the tread surface of the number one track roller. This is the first roller from the front of the machine. Enter the data and then repeat for all track rollers. The sprocket inspection is a visual one. Use the arrow up and down keys to choose an appropriate rating, good, fair or poor, and then press enter. In this case, the reading is fair. This entire process is then repeated on the right-hand side of the machine. Once you've completed the right-hand side, end of inspection will be displayed. You can now turn your tool off. Your inspection will automatically be saved. Check all undercarriage components for cracks and damage or leakage from lubricated joints and rollers. The cleaner the component, the better your ultrasonic tool will read. Ensure you have a generous amount of ultrasonic gel on the probe for each measurement. If your tool's batteries go flat or if it turns itself off, when you turn it back on, it will resume at the point you left it. If at any stage you can't get the ultrasonic tool to take a reading, you can measure the particular component manually and enter the measurement into eCare at a later date, once you have downloaded the inspection. If at any stage you need to go back and re-enter a measurement, use the arrow keys and when you reach the component that you wish to re-measure, press the CLR key and redo your measurement. A good reading is always indicated by the illumination of the green LED and by the probe symbol moving downwards. Make a note of the grouser type and width. Carry out a visual check of all rollers for leaks and failures. Check for correct track tension. And last of all, when you're inspecting excavators, ensure that the main body is in the correct position. That means the final drive is at the rear, otherwise you will run the risk of mixing up the left and right hand side of the machine.